Good morning. Welcome to Mary, Mother of God Parish. We are privileged to welcome the officers of VFW post number 25. In honor of Veterans Day, they will now present the colors. other veterans who would like to come forward, please feel free to do so. Men or women from any branch of the service. As we celebrate Veterans Day weekend, coming up obviously on the 11th, but we're all here today. I think we owe a big round of applause to all those who have served us so well. We thank the members of our service team for putting this together. Today we celebrate the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin our celebration in song. Please join in singing Table of Plenty. Please rise and join in singing.
come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Special thanks to all the members of our uh, service and community teams for putting this day together. It's a lot more than just that impressive procession with the colors of the different branches of the armed services. As you leave church, if you didn't get one coming in, there's a, a very handsome prayer card that you could say every day for the rest of your lives. And perhaps we should have prayer for our veterans. Also a little toy soldier that you know, I used to play with as a kid a long time ago. To honor our military, take it home and pray for a soldier, man or woman still in service today risking their lives. Our greatest free, one of our greatest freedoms certainly is the freedom to worship or not worship if a person chooses not to. And those men and women fight for those, those precious freedoms that we have. So we thank them. We thank the community and service team who put that together for us. Some of the veterans will take up the gifts as well. It's just a, a great day to say thank you to those who gave so much and obviously some who gave all. Let us all call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. five, six, seven-year-olds, come on up troops, we must have some in the building, and Miss Bediano, cover the readings on your level. 
and every kid gets a $500 bill. Don't you wish? The deacon wishes. It's a busy day at CC, and we have our big roast beef dinner down at Stern and say already 600 tickets sold. Tremendous. We had a great dinner for the homeless vets who are down at St. Francis Commons two weeks ago that the Marian Society put on. Our co-drive to help the poor people. We're also helping with the, the dinner at the Masonic Temple. So just a very busy time here. It's always a busy time here. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep us from all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike we may pursue in freedom of heart things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, Elijah the prophet went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the entrance of the city, a widow was gathering sticks there. He called out to her, please bring me a small cupful of water to drink. She left to get it and he called out after her, please bring along a bit of bread. She answered, as the Lord your God lives, I have nothing baked. There is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug. Just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and my son. When we have eaten it, we shall die. Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. Go and do as you propose. But first, make me a little cake and bring it to me. Then you can prepare something for yourself and your son. For the Lord, the God of Israel says, the jar of flour shall not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry until the day when the Lord sends rain upon the earth. She left and did as Elijah had said. She was able to eat for a year, and he and her son as well. The jar of flour did not go empty, nor the jug of oil run dry, as the Lord had foretold through Elijah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ did not enter into a sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own, If that were so, he would have to suffer repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just as it appointed that human beings die once, and after this judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away the sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said to the crowds, beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in the synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, He said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the others contributors to the treasury, for they have contributed from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The scholars will tell you that there are 200 references to money in the Bible. 200. There's only 72 books in the Catholic Bible, and there's 200 (laughs) mentions of money. Think about that. So money's always been a big issue. Okay? And this is a great story today. Now, I have done a sociological study. You're supposed to laugh, okay? Okay? But as some of you know, I walk down to the giant, at least when it's warm enough, to get fresh fruit for the morning. And I always go through the self-checkout line because it's just faster. But I've noticed something in the last year. Your change comes out. The dollars come out like in a slit, a couple bucks, whatever. But then the, the coin comes out into like a little cup. And I've noticed more and more in the last year or two I'll put the dollar in, here comes the dollar, change, whatever. But there's often some money sitting in that little cup 
holding somebody else's change before I got there. And maybe you've noticed it. Like, why is there money just sitting there? I can only think of three possible answers. Either somebody was in a hurry and they just didn't think to grab. They grabbed the dollars, but they didn't grab the, the change. Or they're trying to be nice and leaving it for the next guy or gal, paying it forward. Or they don't care. Because they have enough money that they don't worry about two or three cents. Chump change. Just, I can't be bothered with nickels and dimes and pennies. And they just leave. I think you want to think about that with regard to this story. And since everybody here probably makes the decision what they're going to put in the basket, it is so, it is eternally useful. There are people who can give an awful lot of money. I don't know who they are. I don't know what anybody puts in the basket. But I, I would suppose to some people, well, what difference does it make? I have it. I don't care. Give it. Okay, whatever. Just, they're not worried. Then there's this lady. To her... Those coins, three cents, meant a lot. They're not just, to her, that is a significant donation. You might say she's a fool. She's given the milk money. She, she may be crazy. People like her, they turn the lights out on them. Or is she incredibly faithful? with such a connection to God that she will give everything. She's giving herself, not money. Notice it said out of her poverty, not out of her charity. And the poverty is that spiritual poverty, a blessed to the poor in spirit. A person like her understands two things when it comes to giving money. You're not giving money away. You're giving money back. There's a big difference. Everything, people like her will understand that everything is a gift from God. Everything I have is a gift. Whatever gifts and talents I have so that I can make money, those gifts and talents came from God. So I'm just returning what already belongs to him. Now, not many people function on that pure of a level. And she believes that God will always provide what she needs. That lady in the first reading, all she had was a little bit of flour to make a little cake. God will provide. You know, we, Jillian picked that song for this opening mass. God will provide for all that we need. Do we really believe that God always gives us what we need? Now, if you believe that, then everything changes. That doesn't mean you're going to go over to the, to the lottery machine and you're going to get a winning Powerball number. No, God helps you understand that what, whatever you have, that's what God wants you to have, and that's enough. That may be more for one person than the next, but God will never leave his children wanting. Now, not too many of us function on that pure of a level that it's all in God's hands, he will provide, and everything I have comes from him anyway. But that's the love we want to be working towards. That's a high, you know, a guy, a guy and his wife were going out, and the woman said, take me to someplace expensive. So he took her to the gas station. <laughs> $3.50 a gallon, very expensive. Well, our attitude should be, God, take me, take, take, just take me. Just take me, God. Take everything I have, it's yours. Now, we may, not, we may never get there in this life, but that's a good goal. I am yours. Everything I have is yours. Let this Eucharist be a good first step. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll profess our faith in Almighty God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. We put our prayers before the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that she may grow in holiness and charity in her service to the living and true God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings on all our nation's veterans and for the protection of those who serve in our country's military, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our police, firefighters, first responders, healthcare workers, and all those serving in dangerous professions, that the Holy Spirit will guide, direct, and protect them at all times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joseph Boylan, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may live eternally with Christ, their Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us send the petitions by praying our vision prayer. Jesus, Jesus we, we are your people. We, we praise, praise you as Savior, Savior and Lord. Lord. Deep in our commitment to you, you, you church, and each, each other. other. Let us, Let us all, all share more actively, actively spreading, spreading the good news of God present among us. us. Help us reach, reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel of compassion and love in service to those in need. Mindful of our many blessings, we are especially grateful for your gift of our parish family. Family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, our spouse, Joseph, and our beloved saints, Anthony, Vincent, Stanislaus, and Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us alive as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you. Amen.
pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, Lord, on our sacrificial gifts offered to you our whole lives, so that celebrating in mystery the death and resurrection of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, Jesus humbled himself, was born of the Virgin Mary, by the passion of the cross, freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing an unending hymn of your praise. gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body, the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
you know, I realize that it, this is a very busy mass, and this is a very busy street with CCD coming out and mass coming in, so maybe some people weren't here at the beginning of the mass. So if I can ask all the veterans in the building to stand, not just those who process in, but all the veterans stand, please. Let's give them one more big round of applause. Thank you, gentlemen. We can never thank you enough. The applause is a simple way of trying to say thank you to all your, your service and your sacrifice. And all those who put this liturgy together, the people on the community and service team worked very hard to make all, take the, the prayer card home, take the little soldier home, the banners, just try to make the Mass a little bit more special for these men and women. Let us all stand to pray, my friends. Nourished by your sacred gift, Lord, we give you thanks, we beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of the Holy Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing, Go Make a Difference. 